Oh, hi, vlog. Welcome to my bathroom. Today, I'm gonna show you my skincare routine. The first thing I do is putting my hair in a little ponytail. Look at my tie. So my hair, oh my God. The sponsor of today's video is Chanel. Just kidding, I bought it myself. Um, Chanel was like, oh my God, Oleg, we love you so much. Can we give you a gift? And I was like, oh yeah, girl, love you too. I got, it's not about skincare routine. It's about just, oh, look at this. That is deodorant. This is cleansing cream to foam. Wow. So pretty. And here I got moisturizing cream. Before this product, I used only CeraVe, CeraVe, that's how you call it, uh, moisturizing cream. I use it basically everywhere, like my elbows, face, body here. Actually, it is pretty nice cream, so I think you can try it too. Is it enough? Oh, it's so soft. Wait, should I mix it with water? How long are you supposed to do this on your face? I think like one minute, maybe. Everyone is giving advices on these videos, but I'm just, I'm just asking for help. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about your eyebrows. Usually I do it with um, paper towels, but now I'm lazy to go to the kitchen and take them but this towel is clean so it's fine wait why does it look so good i use this marvis toothpaste i really like it it makes my breath fresh and kind of whitening my teeth that is actually a really good toothbrush so if you want to try a new toothbrush i recommend this one now it's time for face cream do you think i should use this brush it's so cute this is for like putting your cream very gentle to be honest i'm not like the biggest skincare routine fan i used to be but now i'm not i used to use like um serum toner eye cream oils whatever okay vogue thank you so much for watching that was my beauty routine look at this glow okay i'm waiting to go to starbucks right now because i want to have some work done but it's so crowded so i decided to do a little shopping and i want to show you what i got electric toothbrush I've never used one in my entire life and I was like probably I will not use it anymore because I'm stupid then I went to cost I didn't plan buy anything it's so soft so cozy I don't know how you call it it's kind of like long sleeve but it has a zip here so it looks super cute experience was so good like the foot massage oh my god i found this place which is called dome on tiktok and the food there looks fancy and tasty so let's give it a try can we talk about this fruit salad and i haven't had avocado toast in years Oh my god guys, this fruit bowl, it's like the best fruits I've ever had in my entire life. Like literally every fruit is tasty, juicy, 
I don't know how that's possible. And also the avocado toast was so good, so definitely gonna be here again and recommend you to go here as well. Let's do the little unpacking. I'm so excited. Actually, I came to Apple because I wanted to pre-order the new iPhone. But if you order it now, you will have it in like late October. But I was like, I want something right now. And I told you how much I wanted these AirPods because they are so like stylish. You can put them with an outfit and look really good. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I just got my first Remova uh, suitcase. I was dreaming about this for like three years, so I'm so so happy right now. Uh, I'm waiting for my essentials to be printed on my suitcase. You can see it here, my cutie. Lately I was thinking about going back to sports because I wanna do some kind of activity so my body feel better. But I was like, my gym in Moscow was perfect because like this kind of trainings, which is boot camp trainings. If you watch my stories, you probably know what I mean. But then finally I remembered that I really like yoga and that sounds perfect for me right now. Started looking for the best yoga places in Milan and I found like some cool spots. So today I'm going to visit them. I wanna see the studios, I wanna uh, check everything and just pick the the best one for me. Right now I'm going to meet with my friends and we are going to Leonardo da Vinci Museum. When I just arrived in Milan I was like I want to do something fun and I saw this museum but it never happened. I didn't go there eventually. I got invitations for Milan Fashion Week. I'm gonna visit two presentations. And yesterday I was freaking out. Uh, and now I'm a little bit freaking out again because I need outfits for the presentations. I, I have no idea what to wear. So I wrote uh, the stylist that I know. I want it to be something special because, oh my God, that's gonna be my first Milan Fashion Week in life. That's so crazy. That's so crazy! So right now I'm going to have my first yoga class. I'm excited. You know, uh, that's so funny because I had really like, not hard, but the day when a lot of stuff happened and it's just like romanticizing my life in the movies when you had like really stressful day and then you, at the end of the day, you go to the yoga class. I'm letting all the stress go out. I feel really good after yoga and meditation. I'm just happy how things are going right now in my life. Good morning, everybody. Um, today is the first day when I'm going to pick an outfit for Fashion Week. 
so this is Sarah. Hi. She helps me with the outfit. I want to tell you the story how we met because that's so funny. Uh, I was basically sitting behind her in the tram and I was thinking, oh, I need a stylist, I need a stylist because I need outfits for fashion week. And I accidentally look at her phone and I saw she was posting like some, some dresses on her yeah. stories. And I was like, oh, maybe she's the stylist. And I was like, okay, let's, let's just ask. Sarah, uh, you study, uh, study design? Yeah, well, I'm studying uh, a master course in design for the fashion system. She's my stylist <laughs> for fashion week. That's yeah. so crazy. So <laughs> really don't, crazy. don't be afraid to talk to people because you can meet someone special like Sarah. We are just trying to find something on vintage market. Hope we can find something good. Yeah, I think it will find it. Yeah. Oh my god, I wear this top and I feel like I stuck. I will not. Okay, so how should we do it? So you have to. No, I, I think maybe it's better if you put off. You think yeah. that's gonna help? Okay. Oh, okay, that was easier than I expected. <laughs> we are sitting right now in a little bar. Uh, having a rest and checking all the stuff that we have we actually got a lot and we just uh, brainstorming brainstorming that's how you call it yeah, uh, yeah and we just we made a, a really cool idea for an outfit and I just can't wait to show you like I'm so excited we came to Sarah's University and we are gonna have a fitting here and that's so cool I've never been to university in Italy. I wanna show you some some stuff that we bought. Oh, my phone is shaking, wait. Uh, I don't wanna show everything because, wait, you see it's shaking because I'm touching the table. You probably saw all the outfits on my Instagram. Piece number one. Piece number <laughs> one. This is a bag. I don't know what to say. A vintage bag. Vintage bag. I don't know the yeah. brand, but it looks so good. The next thing, oh my god, these shoes and what's special about these shoes is that it's Gucci shoes, that's yeah. crazy, we got Gucci shoes on Vintage Market, that's gonna be my, no, I have, I have Gucci socks, my friend gave me oh, on, on the Christmas, okay. so it's gonna be my second Gucci, but that's the first Gucci stuff that I bought myself. Beautiful. And also the oh yeah the particular yeah the details and then last but not least yeah it's Sarah's favorite she loves this guy how do you call it is it like a pin pin yeah, yeah. so it's a pin you can put it on your clothes look at this this <gasps> is so pretty so cool we're gonna put it somewhere to make it more special oh and also I got this ring. <laughs> yeah, so let's start with the yeah. feet. God, we are so tired. We did three outfits for one day. We had nothing. We literally bought everything and made them into fully finished outfits. Yeah, I'm so happy. Are you happy about yeah, the outfits? I'm so they are. Uh, they are she put a lot of her design uh, job in it, like the pieces that that she made. That's amazing. Thank you. I have one one here. A little spoiler. <laughs>
Today is the first official day of Milan Fashion Week. I've already seen a lot of models and celebrities. It gives me a little bit of anxiety because you you give to this event a lot of importance. And like 20 minutes ago, I got invited to one more presentation. So now I have four. Yesterday I had yoga to prepare my body and mind. And right now, the last part of preparation for Fashion Week is facial treatment. Okay, so I just came to my spa and somehow accidentally got to some fashion week show. I don't know, what is that? I think I look better, like honestly. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel so good. And I got some products. Now my body and my face are fully prepared for fashion week. So I guess I see you tomorrow. I don't know, probably I will be so freaked out and I will not film a lot, but I hope this not will happen. Okay, so I'm going to the first presentation. I'm gonna show you a look like this. Uh, look what Sarah created is this sleeve. Looks so amazing. I'm so excited. A little bit nervous. But I'm good. but I did a lot of street style pictures. I hope I can put you like all the pictures that I will receive from photographers. I definitely need a person who will film everything that I do during Fashion Week because as I thought, I didn't film anything because I was busy posing for street style photographers. Oh my god, so I got some snacks. I'm just gonna have a quick lunch and then I'm going to the next show. So basically, mm, what I wanted to tell you is that day went it was super cool super new to me and I will see you tomorrow on a day two I'm in Milan already I'm gonna have breakfast right now that I'm going to my hostel put the outfit and go to the first presentation you know my emotional statement is a little bit weird because Honestly, I'm going out of my comfort zone a lot. One, because it's fashion week, I've never done one before. Second, is because my outfit outfits are very unusual. Like, you know, kind of hard. I wanted to say something positive in the end, but I, I don't know what to say. Like, I could say everything will be okay, of course. I don't know.
visited my presentation for today and now I'm heading to the shows if no one understood what I was doing so basically there are a lot of shows around the city during all the day and I'm just choosing the shows that I like and going there and doing the street style basically you have to be good looking have like an usual out outfit and just walk hope that some photographers want to take picture of you my outfit today is the most unusual it's 100% out of my comfort zone I like it but I wouldn't wear it on a daily day basis because I'm wearing a skirt for me it's more of like a statement and support to people who want to wear whatever they want I want to be kind of an example that you can do it if you want to wear a skirt you want to wear a dress whatever just do it that's it hi we're going to the last show for tonight it's versace is it here no <laughs> invited to two more presentations for tomorrow I have no outfit so I have to come home and figure this out my today's outfit as I told you was out of my comfort zone and I wanted to say thank you to you that you were so respectful I think you liked this outfit the most so that's so cool that you are like so tolerant and open-minded I look so sleepy so as I showed you it's raining today in Milan I think I don't want to go to any shows I just have two presentations and I think that's it and also because I'm so tired the fashion week is it's crazy I remember I was watching Sonny Yesman like a lot of years ago and she was like my legs are dead I have like scratches or whatever and I was like how is it possible and now I understand it's like it's Hunger Games almost look this is the new pronunciation of my name Ola smile face Now I'm heading to the second presentation. I honestly really like my look and people like it as well because they complimenting me and you saw how we how Sarah and I made it. And I actually remember when I was doing my facial treatment, I told you that there is was some kind of show. I'm going to the same place right now. text my friends maybe we will go out tonight I just wanted to tell that I'm so happy with the results of the first the first Milan Fashion Week in my life I'm glad with the results I'm glad how much shows I visited I'm glad how much street style I've done that I got invited to six presentations like for me that's a lot because again that's my first Fashion week in life and next season will be more. I will work for it.
Okay, so once again, the fashion week is over. And right now I'm going to the grocery store. I want to chill all day. I want to just buy a lot of like berries. I don't know, maybe some cookies and watch movies. I'm so grateful because like chilling after the super hard, amazing, productive week is the most cool part. For me, it's like the best feeling ever to work hard and then play hard. Guys, I'm so sorry for this content, honestly. Like, I almost didn't film anything during Fashion Week, but now I'm like, grocery store haul. The first thing is chips with salt sea salt then i got my favorite stuff it's baby carrots and hummus then as usual blueberries and raspberries then i got mango and papaya actually i don't think i've ever eaten papaya in my life so we'll see and the last thing is coconut water i've never tried one i know that people rather hate it or love it so we'll see. Oh, let's try it now. It tastes like super organic coconut. I mean, it's fine. I would drink it if that's good for your body. It's not that like it's super tasty, so I would like to have it every day. That's not the usual spa, it's immersive spa. And look at this, this is sauna. Honestly, it was one of the best I've ever had in my entire life. Okay, so that was amazing. The spa is super cool. I didn't even show you all the rooms. They have a lot of unusual cool stuff. Now I'm gonna have a dinner near Duomo. This is the restaurant I'm going. I've been here before and this place means kind of a lot to me. I forgot to show you my meal. I had pasta with lobster. It was amazing. Now I'm having cheesecake and I'm on my own tea. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, that was a lot. That was so crazy. I think this vlog will be probably a little mess. But anyways, let me know in the comments which outfit of my first fashion week of my first fashion week you liked. I will see you soon. Love you. Bye.